If you want to go back to caveman era where the lifespan was shorter than it is now, this is not the way to do it. What's going on YouTube, TR Fit Fam? If you've been following along, you know that I've been doing this carnivore diet. I know the last time I post, I said I was going to go over the food that I was eating, but I came across something on um, line that, that that made me go, okay, let's let's actually sit back and review this and look over. Y'all hear me talk about I won't talk on a subject if I don't try it myself. Depending on really what it is, but especially when it comes down to health, fitness. And getting people to understand, especially to follow along with what I am doing. I said I'm a gym owner. Me and my brother own a gym. I won't recommend anything that I'm not willing to, to stand on. Ten toes. It just is what it is. But when you research carnivore diet, you always hear opinion after opinion after opinion. And majority of the time, it's from people who um, either have done it and, and, and seen the benefits or hasn't done it at all. So I want to jump into a video um, together real quick. So let's check this out. It's from um, Good Morning America. I'm probably going to get flagged for it, but it is what it is. There's a group of people that are taking that to the next level, and they believe it's the way to optimal health and performance. And you should know the benefits are still up for debate. Take a look. Travis Statham is a simple dude, but he's strict about his diet. He eats the same thing for every meal. Me. Do you consider your diet extreme? No. Because I'm not eating carbs that are making me hungry all the time, that I've got lots of energy. It's clean, long-lasting energy. Statham is part of a movement called carnivory, where followers only eat meat. No veggies, no fruits, no carbs. Their argument, meat work for the cavemen, and it can work for us too. I don't think I've ever seen so much meat in someone's fridge. Travis says it was meat that helped him eliminate cravings, shed pounds, and build muscle. Now, obviously, if y'all been following along, we all know that to be true. Just off of my testimony, I've gained strength or kept at least maintained strength at minimum. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to say I've gained strength. Not 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 as of yet because uh, my numbers have always been pretty consistent for the most part on what I'm lifting. My energy level is sky high. My cravings for certain foods have completely gone away for the most part. Outside of that, I may want something here and there, but I'm just I'm not tempted to the point that I I have to have it. So the cravings have gone away. So so far, so good. Wow. And he's not picky. Any meat will do, even when it's raw. The hard part is raw. It takes a little more chewing. So I'm gonna have to take your word for it. Hey, I'm good on that. I, I, I ain't know the raw. Not, yeah, I ain't raw dog. Not. Dr. Drew Pinsky tried to diet himself for three weeks. Within four or five days, I felt so much better I couldn't believe it. Now, Dr. Drew, like I said, I don't want to keep pausing it because it's not that long of a clip. But Dr. Drew is a well-known doctor. Once again, he's tried it for himself, so he's speaking on it because he's tried it. I lost a ton of weight. My strength went up. My sleep went down. My energy went up. Now, Travis's girlfriend is on board. So for me, I lost 30 pounds without exercising over a course of a summer. There was no afternoon burnout. Most days start with a coffee. Lunch today is fast food. You got four patties. You got some cheeses. You got some bacon. And... Yeah, this I'm all how set. you live your life. It's all how I live my life. And for dinner, it's a pork chop. Travis runs a Facebook group for meatheads where dieters share stories about how they've cut the sides, adopted a strict diet, and are feeling better than ever. I think everyone should be willing to experiment. So, that was words from someone who's tried it. Understand that. I'm going to... Um... Fast forward a little bit to there's a, a dietitian. I don't, I don't. Uh, hopefully her name pops up on here, but she hasn't tried it. She doesn't do it. And let's just get to it. She like made I like fruits and veggies. Dr. Jen Ashton yeah. is here. I feel like I should just sort of tee this up. Uh, I mean, George, medically and nutritionally, it comes down to one word: why. You can lose weight on a cotton candy diet, right? That doesn't make it healthy. We're not between two ferns here, but between two strawberry bushes. If people really want to go back to caveman living, they're missing about 10,000 years in biologic changes, changes in our environment, changes in our body, changes in the organisms in our body. But remember, the caveman or cavewoman also ate berries. So this diet is lacking in a lot of ways. Which is true. Which is true. So, so 
understand she's at least correct on that. Specific risks of going all meat. Well, there's a couple things. First of all, what are you not eating? So you're not getting fiber, you're not getting fruits and vegetables. And I want to show you something else. Come over here, George. So if you think of this coffee, French press, which I love, at the coffee grounds as high protein load, when your kidneys filter that out, yeah, you know, you're getting some filtration, but you're getting a lot of this residue. And in someone with kidney disease, that's not great. In someone with healthy kidneys... And this is what I'll call an exaggerated example that people will typically do to put a visual to scare you into understanding. High protein is probably not gonna damage your kidneys, but again, what else are you missing? And if this is purely for weight loss, there are a lot of better ways to do it than and, just And doing there are this. special concerns with red meat, especially as you get older as well, Oh yeah, right? well red meat we know in high doses is a carcinogen, it can lead to cancer of the GI tract. So again, it's really, this is not the way to go. Okay. In all fairness, this was a few years ago, which obviously for, since then, it's been proven that from then and now there's people that's been doing it that guy i'm confident is still doing it and um you have a lot of people that's proven that what she's saying is not necessarily true what is the all right i'm going to show you george it's all about your people it's the mediterranean, mediterranean diet, diet. Yeah. if you want to call it the paleo like diet the ashton diet it's about balance it's about getting healthy fats it's about getting fruits vegetables this is a perfect way to go you get some broccoli some salmon some oh i love this salad <laughs> spinach salad but again if you want to go back to caveman era where the lifespan was shorter than it is now this is not the way to do it no. Now let's touch on that real quick, what she just said. Lifespan, lifespan. People use examples like this, exaggerated examples. They always leave a lot out. So, and I'll use um, convenience for an example, convenience. We talk about jobs today versus jobs in the 1800s versus jobs in the early 1900s. They're a lot easier now. I'm literally sitting in front of a camera talking to y'all right now and this could be considered a job for a lot of people it's considered a job that didn't exist like if you was working a hard extreme hard extremely hard job which cave times that's what it was there weren't no easy jobs people were dying faster because there was a lot more danger around as well as things could be more useful now to help you stay living a long time doctors we got hospitals we got things that they did not have we understand medicine a lot better there's a lot of things that go into play that then rather than just making that about diet because if you make the lifespan and just end it on diet obviously you can you can that's a crazy argument because there's there's so much in between and i want to use nature for this example so lions lions lifespan in the wild lions lifespan is eight to twelve years um for males females have a life uh, span of 10 to 15 years 10 to 15 years now let's talk about lions in a zoo lions that live in are raised in a zoo. There's, there's there's literally a lion living right now in philadelphia that's 25 years old 25 year old big cat named um zinda so for me to say for her saying eating and putting that on that, comparing cavemen to, to today, is like me comparing a, a wild animal versus a zoo animal. It's not the same. They're, they might as well be two completely different animals. Because one hunts for their food and puts themselves in danger all the time. And the other one has food laid out to them on a silver platter. It's like rich and the poor. Of course, the life, expen life expectancy is going to be a little bit different because one has access to a lot more means. Tell me. Absolutely not. You know, lean meat, lean protein is fine, but to subsist only on meat, whether it's raw or cooked and water, there is, there, you're not going to get my medical or nutritionist stamp of approval on that one. Doctor there, George, thank next you. week we're going to do air, the air <laughs> diet. <laughs> That's funny, but at the same time, once again, she's having an argument based off of her own, um, I guess my point is, as someone who takes fitness serious, who, who recommends, who's been coaching people for a very long time now, and I'm um, training people for a very long time now, I know how damaging saying don't do something can be, or this is the way to do it and not this way. I know how damaging that can be because what works for one person may not work for the other person. So we're just completely cutting something off that may be beneficial, that may be a little bit more 
um, healthier than you think, maybe a little bit more beneficial than you think, could help someone else. But because of your own personal thought, because of your own personal mindset and, and beliefs on because you're biased on the diet that worked for you, you have a wall up with just about everything else, which is damaging when it comes down to people that are new. Like I said, for the whole purpose of me making this video is I know there are people out here just like myself who was researching and coming across a carnivore diet and thinking about doing the carnivore diet. Obviously, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't even consider the carnivore diet. With that said, if the first video you watch is someone that you respect and someone you under like um, want to take notes or to take um, their opinion very serious and they're telling you don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, but they have no experience from doing it, they haven't heard or did the research to understand if it works or not, they're only going off the research because they found out that the way they do it does work, that obviously can be damaging. I, wanted to, I, I don't want to overly sell this diet myself. Because I'm only I'm only five weeks in. I don't want to overly sell anything because I believe everyone um, has something that works for them. And just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. But for the most part, we are all the same when it when it when it boils down to it. And if all is well and all is similar, then this could possibly work for you. And you pretty much will not know until you try it. Now. For the long term, she spoke on long term um, effects of things a little bit too as well. We're literally living it. Like we're, we're living it. There's people who've, who've done it a lot longer than myself, obviously. Who've been doing this for 5, 10, 15 years already have been living this life. You can, you can watch them. They're still saying the exact same things. They feel better. Their energy is way better. They don't want to go back. Majority of people who've done this diet was more so because they kind of had to because they had stomach issues, immune system issues. Um, so those same people are saying the exact same thing. I feel 10 times better. I don't need the fruits. Because you got to understand, there's nothing wrong with fruits, but fruits is a form of sugar. Sugar slows you down. That's the easiest way to put it. Sugar slows you down. Carbohydrates can also end up doing the same thing. Yes, they are beneficial. Nutrition wise, you can get the same nutritional values from fat that you get from carbohydrates. So it kind of is a wash when it's all said and done. As this diet continues to grow and get popular, they're doing more research and obviously taking a little bit more serious, putting a little bit more science behind it and putting a lot more research behind it, which is obviously great for all of us when it's all said and done, when it comes down to picking the diet that works best for us. Granted, I may not do this diet forever. I may not. But as of right now, it's working for me. It is working for me. My, my, my taste buds, when I was 20, in my 20s, chasing this fitness um, lifestyle, in my 20s, I had no problem with just having a simple balanced diet because I had time, the, um, my cravings were different. Everything about me was, was different. I'm not the same as I was when I was 25. But right now, I'm, I'm starting to look like... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking pretty close to, to, to how I looked when I was younger, which obviously I never went too far away, but that's the goal for me. My personal goal is to look good for the rest of my life and whatever good, what, that good is, is here in me or within me and obviously my wife, but, but that good for me is just looking the way that I personally want to look. I want to have a six pack the rest of my life. I want to be strong enough to lift the rest of my life. I want to be... I want to feel good the rest of my life. I want to be able to run. I want to be able to, to walk fast, get the places I need to be. You see, all the time you see, you'll go to the grocery store, you'll see people in the, um, the, little, the little wheelchair cart things pushing. I don't want that. That's not the calling on my life. That is not the calling on my life. But you see it. Why? It's strictly based off of a well-balanced diet or a diet that works for you. All right, that's all I have. I'll try to keep, make this as short as possible. Y'all know the YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe if this was beneficial for you. I hope it was. Like I said, I know it was short and sweet, but the overall message of this video is to do your own research and try it for yourself before you knock it. Try it for yourself before you knock it. Other than that, let's get it. See y'all next time. Next time I'll, I will try to um, touch on my um, what I've been eating consistently and I'll get that video up as soon as possible. See y'all.